ਸਸ਼ਕਰ ਗਾਇਸ ਕੀ ਹਾਲ ਚਾਲ ਆਈ ਹੋਪ एवरीथिंग ਇਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਔਨ ਗੁੱਡ ਆਈ ਹੋਪ ਸਾਰੇ ਚੈਟ ਦੀ ਕਲਾਸ ਹੈ ਗਿਆ ਹੂੰ ਤੇ ਐਸ ਆਈ ਪ੍ਰੋਮਿਸਡ ਦ ਇੰਟਰਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਟ੍ਰਿਪ ਇਸ ਹੀਅਰ ਸੋ ਆਮ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਫਲਾਈ ਟੂ ਕੀਨੀਆ ਇਨ ਦ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਲਾਈਕ 6 ਆਵਰਸ ਸੋ ਆਮ ਸ਼ੂਟਿੰਗ ਦਿਸ ਵਲੌਗ ਫੋਰ ਯੂ ਗਾਇਸ so max pain kar sega ki how should we apply the kenya visa and there have been rumors all through the internet that the kenya visa is free but it is free but not kind of free like you don't have to get the e visa and wait for like 5 to 6 days to get the visa and pay like 50 dollars and sometimes 80 dollars or sometimes even more than 100 dollars to get the visa early so that's not the thing now so right now there's one website i've been trying to get my visa from the first week of january like it is the first week of january it's the second week of january it's monday today it's the 8th so i've been trying to get my visa since the last week of december but everything was closed in the last week of december as you guys know christmas the shooting is already on the end and then new year the holidays because of that so i started my process in the first week there is one online website i'll show that to you known as a uh, e visa kenya so i've tried getting a visa on that and that thing was a mess it did not work out the website there was some problem in the website website chalini raisi ki so that's why that website did not work out and i was worried because i have my box in february and i didn't want to delay going to kenya because i didn't want it to affect my studies so that's why and then uh, i i went to some agents and then uh, you guys might know there's a uh what do you say a big company travel tour that are travel and tours company known as sadhguru travels i went there i applied for my kenya visa and they okay it's an incident that happened so the person the lady who took my documents for the visa she didn't ask me anything at the point when i went to for the visa i asked her i told her i want to apply for my kenya visa she's like sure she's like can i have a passport and she asked me for my uh student visa so because i'm i live in dar es salaam and i have my student visa in dar es salaam tanzania so she asked for my student visa and i gave her my passport and my student visa and she just took the payment the uh, payment at sadguru travel was 88 dollars something and if you want to pay like if you want like extra like uh, emergency it's 80 dollars plus 60 dollars but it didn't work out she did not ask me any details that where are you going to stay do you have your hotel bookings do you have your flight bookings she didn't ask me anything at that day i applied for that visa on sadguru travels on tuesday on wednesday and she's calling me at saturday morning she's asking me sir do you have you booked your hotel bookings and your flight bookings I'm like out of nowhere asking me this and I did not fly, have my flight bookings at that time because I wasn't sure in how long I'm going to get the visa so I didn't get the flight bookings so that's why and then uh, well, the reality is I'm going to stay at her, the home on Kenya so I called them and they were like w- working out here and they're calling he- people in the embassy and uh, on the borders and stuff to ask them if the visa is free or not because the Kenyan president announced in December that from 1st of the January the visa will be free but it wasn't sure so to confirm that we were calling here and there and uh, on Saturday the Kenyan government released a notice I'll show you I even show you a notice in which they said that the uh, we there's no visa to for the tourists to enter Kenya but you have to fill a ETA which is no which is a uh estimated travel uh it's just kind of a travel authorization so the Kenyan government gets the information of you before you are coming to Kenya and it, that form is of $30 i fill it on saturday saturday evening at 6 o'clock and i had to pay $30 for that $35 with the bank fees so Saturday was off, Sunday was off and I got my visa Monday morning. Today morning like I was at school but then uh, I got a notification on my mail like it literally took 4 to 5 hours. I got my visa the office is open at 9 o'clock I think so. And I had my visa by 10:30. So I got my tickets booked and uh, I got my I 
when I came back from school, I got the currency exchange, I got my tickets booked, and uh, got my, everything printed out. And you need the yellow fever to enter Kenya uh, at the injection. I even have, I even got, I, ha I had the yellow fever injection from before. I got the card, everything out, and I'm just going to have packed myself everything. And uh, uh, I'm going to leave in like six hours. And let me show you the website. So it will be easier for you guys to apply for the visa. And you should, you won't get like a headache like me because it's a much easier process right now. You just have to go show your hotel bookings and your flight bookings. If you're staying with someone, you just have to give the invitation letter and uh, their uh, proof of a Kenya, of uh, being a citizen in Kenya. So it's that easy. I'll show you everything. I'll even show you. Yeah, so guys, this is the website. So you search Kenya e-visa and they'll, they'll bring you to many pages, electronic visa, so you can even apply from Global Visa Corporation, but they're taking a lot of fees. They take an additional $50 fees on top if you're just an Indian. So there's, this is the official website, evisa.go.kenya. So I press on e-visa here, but right now they're not giving any e-visa services as you can see, even like my signed in account. You check and if I press on services, they are not providing any services right now because the visa is closed. So then there's this another website known as etakenia.go.ke. I'll uh, mention all uh, this website in the uh, in the bottom. So you can get the link, anyone who wants to apply for Kenya. So these are the every the rules like you need. So you can stop the video and read them. For travelers, you need your passport. Uh, that has six months validity and at least one blank page and then you need a selfie or a passport type photo for yourself then you need your contact information email address phone number you have to give your hotel bookings so uh, the depart arrival and departure itinerary means you have to give your hotel bookings and uh, your flight bookings the accommodation yeah hotel bookings and then your credit card debit card and this stuff and there's these others that uh, citizenships and stuff travel uh, for residency and this business visits so i applied for a family visit as i have my relatives there so i just got the invitation letter from the family or host and their identity card or passport anything uh, so you can uh, if you have any relatives there it's so good it's much better for you and when if i click to proceed you'll have to make an account here first and then there's this you just tick them and then you get your otp and stuff so you apply here individual travel or group travel if you're going with the family just do a group travel will be much easier so you have to keep your country of residency i'll keep india and then you click to continue and then there's everything here you upload your passport size photo okay I have to do everything, but there's this basic details. Then you have to click yourself your passport size photo. Is you have to upload your passport uh, front page photo, and then your contact information. They'll ask for the uh, your email, your contact number on which they can contact for emergency needs and trip information. It will ask you when you're gonna enter and your flight details and everything. And your general information will I'll just ask you that have you traveled to Kenya before? There's any um what can you say? Any criminal record in the international like that? And then customs they'll just ask you, are you bringing alcohol or more than one liter like this? Are you bringing any uh snacks or anything, packed things, health declaration? They ask for do you have a uh, health insurance which is valid in Kenya? So you can just take no. Because even I take no and the, the, I didn't get any uh, visa in the, sorry, uh, any problem in the visa. Sorry, in health declaration, they ask you if you have any health issues. In insurance info, they ask you for, do you have international health insurance? And you just say no. If you have, you can say yes and uh, upload the picture. But if you say, just say no, it's not an issue. The required documents, they ask you for your visa, uh, for your passport. Sorry. Yeah, for your passport, for your hotel bookings, and your flight bookings. And then in confirm, then you just go to confirm proceed. They ask you for your payment. So I applied a single visa. So my payment was around 
the payment was thirty dollars, and then there's five dollar of a, uh, a bank fees. So that's all. Then you can click to proceed. You can do your payment, and then it will take you to a page. Uh, let me cancel this. So after that, it will just take you on a page where it show you your visa uh, is getting sorry your ETA is getting submitted or in processing. And you mostly get it in 24 hours. It's not a big deal if you got to uh, apply for it in working days. And I have my ETA here. So there's nothing much written in it, just my uh, photo, and there's a QR code scanner. So that's all. And there's my passport number. I'll cover them. I'll show it to you once. And then there's the there's a notes that they've written that uh, just uh, carry your passport and your ETA with you while traveling. So that's all what's written. So that's the basic thing. It's an easy process. There was so much headache before doing this and doing that, getting the visa. It was a big headache and you have to wait four to five days. This thing gets done maximum in 48 hours. If you're uh, doing it in working days, if you're doing it in uh, Saturday, Sunday, it will, you'll have to wait. You'll be in processing for two, three days. So it's an easy process. Let me guys, let me cover the my passport number and my visa number and I'll show you guys everything once and i got this is a single entry visa for three months i can enter and i have a 90 day day validity stay, valid stay so i can enter once in 90 days which is more than enough because i'm not going to be traveling to kenya every day even though if i travel i'll do a road trip to kenya for sure after my cie is finished then i'll get the visa again because my road trip is going to be after like six months so i'm going to show you the visa and send the vlog and don't forget to subscribe guys we are so close to thousand subscribers really really close to thousand subscribers before we return from kenya or while ongoing on the kenya series let's complete thousand subscribers as i promised i'm doing it before i you guys complete thousand subscribers i'm going to kenya i promised i'll do a crazy trip and i'm doing it we're going to explore a lot of things in kenya and I'm gonna have a lot of fun. I'm gonna show you guys a lot of things which you can do in Kenya. It's gonna be so fun. I'm basically, I'll give you all the information ahead where I'm going, which flight I'm taking, and everything. So let me just show you the visa. And yeah, so guys, this is the visa. It looks like this. I've just covered the QR code and this is the uh, visa number. And here's the passport number. So I just covered it. You, you can see my name, the date of birth, and then the Republic of Kenya, then valid from 8th January, that's the day today, and valid until 8th April 24. The number of entries one and max stay three months. And that's all the visa, how the visa looks like. And it shows your your ETA, Republic of Kenya's opposite in the opposite side. Let me turn and show it to you. The Republic of Kenya. That's how I just printed this. So it's the even online. So I'm just gonna fold it and keep it properly. I'm gonna come keep my documents in the um then the folder i'm going to keep everything together so so i hope this thing this video helps you and uh, makes the process easier for you guys i hope you guys like this video and it's a lot helpful for you and every anyone had any, has any queries can let me know in the comment section and let me know if it's helped the video is helpful for you if it, guys like the video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe really close to thousand subscribers and don't forget to comment if you guys have any queries and i'll keep the eta kenya uh, the visa from where you can get the eta in the description it'll be much easier for you guys okay guys thank you for watching this vlog next vlog will be on the airport